Hey guys, Bill coming back at you today with another video. Today we're going to do an update on the Autoflower Sea of Green, 17 days above ground. Okay guys, so it's been 17 days since these guys have came up in the soil. Let's take a look and see how they're doing. So there they are, 17 days above ground. They're all doing really well. Uh, we got some here obviously bigger than others, which we knew that was going to happen because they are from seed, even though they are the same kind and also from the same parents. Uh, these were Hermes seeds. I had a Three Bears OG from a Festo Genetics that Hermes right at the end, which pollinated a Alien versus Triangles autoflower from a Festo Genetics also. And uh, these are the seeds that were produced. So even though they're from the same parents, we're still going to get some different phenotypes here. Now, we, we can see a difference already in some of these. Uh, just the size and the way they're growing. Some are closer to the ground. Other ones are starting to just starting to uh, pick up and, and grow a more vertical height. But we'll see much more difference here uh, in another week or two. Now, what are we going to do today? Now, these are... They're starting to cramp in on each other pretty good already. So what I'm going to do today is, now there's 21 plants in here. Now we also have one, two, three, four, five. Now these were just spares that I had planted just in case some of the other ones didn't take. But they all took. So uh, I'm going to remove those five. And I was just going to discard them. But then I... Then I got thinking about it, and these are growing under the Mars Hydro FC8000, which is a huge light. And this sea of green is only taken up a 4x4 four four section. So we have some wasted light on this side, and also some on this side. Now, I'm not too worried about this side, because this gives me a, a really good access point to get into here. And uh, I can come in here and turn the bed and do all my work from this section so I'll probably keep that part open um, now this side here I figured I might as well plant a couple here and use some of that side light that was being wasted and then I'll also be planting some some things over here once we once a little time goes by so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take uh, two of the best ones here around the side the five extra ones uh, pick out the two best ones and we're just going to transplant them into pots and I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the other sea of green. These are organic. These are growing in uh, Using Gaia green organic nutrients. So we're going to keep doing organic on these the two that we transplant into pots here uh, These I will be using the general hydroponic maxi bloom on and once we get these all grown up then perhaps perhaps I'll do a taste test uh, and see the difference between the organic grow and versus the synthetic nutrient grow. Because I have the blackberry kush that we did last time. I still have the mother plant uh, that we had grown up at the same time, which was also grown in synthetic. So we could try we could try probably a couple of different ones with organics versus synthetic just to get a couple people's opinion on uh, what they feel is better as far as high and taste and smoothness and and all that so what we're going to do right now is i have a couple of pots set up here now these are a different kind of pot i'm using a different brand uh, i really like these now these are i got from amazon and the brand name is mogok i believe you pronounce it uh, i'll have a link in the description it's M-O-L-G-O-C, and uh, these are five-gallon pots. Let's see if I can open this up here a little bit. Okay, so almost open. All right, so obvious, obvious thing that I like the most uh, is the ringlets around the edge. Uh, there's lots. There's tons. Uh, we can see here how many. I mean, you won't have to poke any holes in that whatsoever. Uh, if you plan on doing LST now another thing I like about it is the thickness you get some I've had some that are like really thin and they work they work okay but they're not going to last quite as long as something that's a little thicker but I've also had them that were so thick that I just didn't find they air pruned 
as well as they should have, which is, which is why people use the fabric pots to begin with for the air pruning effect, which means the air can dry out the outside of the pot and the bottom. And what happens is when roots reach out, they hit that dry area and the end dies off and they back build on the root, creating a, a bigger mass of smaller roots instead of just a few big roots that just wrap around and around the pot. So it gives you a better root surface area. So, uh, yeah, I like the thickness. I like the rings. And another thing I really like is the handle. Now, I've had some. You've probably seen me if you've been watching my shows. I have some handles that they come way up here like this. And when you're doing LST, and these, these were pretty solid handles on the other ones too. And when you're doing LST, well, now you got this handle. You want to bend the branch this way, and you got this big handle in the way. So you either have to tie it down or cut it off. Uh just so that it's not in the way these are well below the lip but still very sturdy and uh and just basically they're like a perfect handle for for this type of pot so i uh, really like that so we'll set that aside so i have two pots uh they're already i just put in some sunshine number four uh, i couldn't get any pro mix around here at this time so i have sunshine number four which is quite similar so what I'm going to do is I'm going to find the two best ones here, uh, which will be, uh, I think this one, this one looks pretty good and probably this one here as well. So the other ones still look okay too. That one, that one, and that one, but these ones seem to be just, just a little bit bigger. So we're going to go with those and I'm just going to take my hands going to reach in there, grab it, pull it out, bring it over to the other pot, plop it in, and uh, top it up if needed, and we're done. Now they say trans autoflower shouldn't be transplanted, so we're going to we're going to test that theory here. I normally transplant my autos from solo cups to their final pot. Never had an issue. Not too many times have I transplanted from the final pot into another pot. So, uh we'll see how that turns out. And then we'll go from there. Okay, guys, so I'll set you up on the tripod while I go ahead and do that. Okay, so this is the first one. I'm going to try not to get my head in the way. I got this pole of the tent is always in the way here. So let's, uh, let's reach in here. I'm just going to stick my hands down in here, grab a handful of this. Now, I do feel that I am damaging some of the roots. did break a few of them off but that's all right hopefully it's all right so we'll stick that in there okay now I am gonna pull off a couple of these bottom leaves here that are low and in the ground just those first uh, first couple of single leaves and uh, that's it but maybe I'll just add just a little bit of top it up here just a little bit not too much just now once we water this down it's gonna it's gonna compress that peat a little bit anyway so that's it for now for that one okay so I think we probably got enough here just to kind of level that out a little bit we'll add more if needed and we'll swing this around and we'll grab this one here okay so we're gonna do the same thing just gonna reach in here Again, I can feel like I feel like I am breaking. I know I'm breaking. You can see over here, we got some roots that are moving this part. I'm gonna gently rip those apart. Okay, lift it up, move it over. There we go. Now again, I'm going to pull off these couple of bottom
bottom leaves down here. So they're not sitting in the soil itself. Okay. Top up just a little bit. Now all of this stuff is just experiments. I've never grown this <clears throat> I've never grown this way before. I'm not saying this is the best way to grow or anything like that. Um, it's an experiment. I, I want to see what happens growing it like this. So that's all it is. And uh, it may work out, it may not. Uh, the last sea of green we did with photos, uh, I flipped those at 12 days. And that did pretty good. Again, not saying that that's absolutely the best way to get that much yield out of a 4x4 four four section. But it did work out very well. And it was super easy. So uh, we're just going to continue with this and see how this one turns out. And we have three more to take out. This one, this one, and that one. Uh, I'm going to take them out. I do have another uh, couple of pots in another tent. Actually, I have a 25-gallon pot in, uh, in my 3x3. Three three. And I think I'm just going to take these all in and just chuck them in there. Chuck them all in that one pot and uh, let them go. Just because I have the space, so I might as well use it. So I'm just going to pull these up one at a time, take them out, and put them into that other one and then we'll come back and see what else we're going to do with the rest of these. So what are we going to do with these ones? Well, we have we have four rows of four here. Now, I'm not opposed to later on if I have to pull in a few of these out. Now, these are going to be pretty crammed in there. With the photo period seed green, I flipped them after 12 days and was was able to keep them at a, a, a reasonable size uh, for this type of grow. These probably have another couple of weeks of veg left. These are already 17 days. They could have another uh, couple of weeks left probably before they flip. So they just may get too big to be able to do much with. But I'm going to see what I can do. So uh, what we're going to do today, we're just going to start off. Uh, I'm going to top everything. No matter what size it is, I'm going to top them. And I'm also going to defoliate some that I see here. Like uh, this one, for instance. These two top leaves here. They're covering a bunch of stuff down below, like this. Hopefully you can see that from your, your angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in, I'm going to pop those two off. And uh, we'll see what else we got here. We'll just try to get all the, uh, the bud sites up at the top. And then we're going to top it as well. So I'm just going to reach in here, pull that off, top it. That one's finished. So we're going to come this way. This is a really small one. I'm not going to take anything off for leaves. But I am going to separate those tops there. Reach in. Pinch that top off. And now instead of just that one top growing, uh, we'll have two tops growing out on each plant. And we're not going to defoliate anything on that. Okay, we'll just keep, basically, we'll just go around here. Uh, and reach in here. We're going to top that, and I'm going to see if I can just tuck that under a little bit, just so these bottom bud sites are exposed a bit down there, okay? Okay, so we'll come around here, we'll top it, and... We're going to pop these two leaves off here, exposing these little side ones. And probably what I'm going to do, instead of trying to tuck these down and get them underneath, I'll probably just let it go for, I'll just bend it like this for today. Probably in a couple of days, uh, once that starts to come up, I'll come in and I'll pull those two leaves off as well. But we'll leave them for right now. Now I see these bottom leaves are down into the soil there's the the first set of leaves there we'll take them off as well so i'll just go around work my way around and then get the middle ones here and uh do the same thing to these ones and then we'll see what it looks like afterwards
Okay, guys, so we got her done. Uh, took off took off about four leaves off most of these plants and uh, topped every one of them. That helped clear it out a little bit, give them each a little bit more room. And hopefully they get a little bit more vertical height for next week and uh, see what we have to do with them at that point. So we have these ones and we also have the two that will be using uh, General Hydroponic Maxi Bloom for. Okay guys, so uh, there's our first training done of the Autoflower Sea of Green and uh, a couple of transplants and uh, some topping, some defoliation and uh, we'll take it from there. Now I'm gonna keep the uh, FC8000 uh, Mars Hydro Bar Light. I'm gonna keep that on 100%. Uh, I'm gonna leave the height to where it's at though. It, it's probably still almost around three feet away. It seems to be working. Uh, there's definitely no stretch there at all. So, and they all seem to be healthy and growing really well. So I'm gonna leave it at that for now. Okay guys, so that's it for this one. If anybody wants to check out any of uh, Myers Hydro's products, there'll be a link in the description. And if you use my code, you'll save a little extra at checkout as well. Uh, and also, if you wanna check out those uh, new grow bags that I'm using from Mulgok, I'll put a link in the description for them as well. Really nice pots. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Uh, come back next week. We'll be doing more training. I'm sure these will shoot up like crazy this week. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Merry Christmas and happy holidays to all my uh, viewers out there. I uh, hope you all get to spend some time with your families and uh, just do something that you enjoy doing for the holidays. Okay, guys, like, share, subscribe, leave a comment down below, and we'll see you on the next one. Happy growing.